Hey, I'm Benedict and this is the short video about the paper Pikachu and Friends, which is joint work with Champ, Anna, Lucian and Julian. And this is about blind signatures. So let me tell you what a blind signature scheme is. In a blind signature we have a signer and a user. Now the signer holds a public key secret key pair and the user holds only the public key but most importantly the message. Now this message should be signed and to do that they interact in some interactive protocol and the user gets a signature in the end. Now this signature can of course be verified as a standard signature um, using the public key and the message. In terms of security we want to have two properties. The first one is blindness which says that the signer does not learn what he is signing, so he cannot link the interaction to message signature pairs. And the second property says that we actually need the signer to generate the blind signature. So we cannot generate the blind signature without interacting uh, with the signer. Okay, so this is a very useful primitive. It has a lot of applications in uh, electronic payment systems, for example, or in voting. And um, the problem is that the state of the art in terms of constructions is not very satisfying. And this is because although we have efficient uh, constructions, these either rely on um, non-standard and strong assumptions or they uh, only support a small number of signatures while staying secure, uh, typically a logarithmically uh, a logarithmic number of signatures. Now our goal in this work is to close this gap and find a scheme that is efficient, has full security and only makes use of conservative well-known assumptions. Okay, so to summarize our first result, which is a generic result, we need to understand the boosting transform from uh, last year's Asia Crypt by Katz, Loss and Rosenberg. This transform takes a logarithmically secure so-called linear blind signature scheme, applies some one out of n cut and choose, and we obtain a fully secure blind signature scheme. This secure blind signature scheme has uh, still efficient signature sizes, but the communication is not good. And this is because this parameter n of the cut and choose grows in every interaction and our communication um, grows linear with this parameter. Now our first result is a compact version of this boosting transform, which is basically doing the same, but in a compact way such that we obtain a communication which is logarithmic in uh, this parameter n. Okay, so you may think that uh, we solved the problem, right? But uh, this is not the case because if we look at instantiations of this, then uh, they will be rather inefficient due to uh, security loss and other problems. So what we do is we construct two concrete schemes in the second part of our work. The first one is based on the RSA assumption and we instantiate this, this framework with some specific optimizations for RSA, for example, using trapdoors to further improve the communication complexity. And then we have a second construction where we start with a key-only secure blind signature scheme, PLS blind signatures, and transform it into a fully secure blind signature scheme with a variant of this boosting transform that now uh, also works for key-only secure schemes. And we call this parallel instance cut and choose. And uh, we further optimize this using CDH specific optimizations such as uh, aggregation. Now, in the end, we also compute some parameter estimations taking the security loss into account. And we see that the RSA based scheme is uh, balanced while the CDH based scheme has very short uh, signatures. So if you are more interested in uh, our techniques uh, and our results, feel free to uh, look into our paper at ePrint or to attend our talk uh, at Crypto. Thank you.